thanks for being here, back in France. Yes, it's good. <laughs> but, um, so first, we hope you feel better, Sam, because you are yeah. a bit here. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm nearly back. I'm nearly better. But good enough to sing, I think. Okay, so we'll it's already good. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's just, it was, uh, I had like a chest thing. Yeah. And that's why if eventually they were both for a singer too yeah yeah it was hard to breathe and stuff like that but I'm, oh. it wasn't so bad if i had like a normal job i would have just gone to work i was like, <laughs> oh, like sick but i just it's not yeah. a normal job <laughs> yeah well yeah so that's that's why okay um so we do hope you feel better because Thank you. this year is a big year for you mm -hmm. with a big headliner too in uk mm -hmm. yeah um you must be very excited to play at the hydro in glasgow it's yeah like a uh, very a kind of accomplishment I think for a Scottish band. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um how well, did you get the idea like um now we are ready to do this? Um well we've always tried to with every time we come back to our city we for our own show we try to do a better show than the last time. And we'd already played the Barrowlands like five times or something. Yeah. Um, and we'd done like two nights in a row and all that stuff and the next option was there's a venue called the Academy mm -hmm. which is like nearly three thousand I think or two and a half thousand yeah. and we were going to do two nights there okay we were like we want to do it like we want to make it better yeah. for people <laughs> yeah because we've had a lot of fans who've been with our band for like since the beginning especially in Glasgow where we're yeah. from so we just thought it was a risk that um, hopefully would be a payoff for other people rather than us. Like we want to give people like a better show, yeah. And it was like the obvious choice because it's like I think it's kind of like one of the best venues in the UK right now. I think so. so yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah well, the venue really I came here yeah. for the MTV AMA. Oh, like, you were wow, there. Yeah. It's big. Yeah, yeah, it's very big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A, a lot of really famous venues, certainly around Glasgow, like the Barrowlands, yeah. wasn't intended as a music venue, it was originally built as a dance hall and even the academy wasn't built as a music venue, it was built mm. as a theatre. It's beautiful so too. Most, yeah, so most venues around Glasgow aren't actually purpose built, but the Hydro is one of the only venues in Glasgow yeah. that was built for the purpose of music, so because of that, you know, it's got the exact right shape and the exact right sound and it's just mm. it's a really cool. Place to be, yeah, to play. Yeah. Um, any clues about the special guest bands for the UK tour? Um, we don't know that. We don't know we don't who know they are that. yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have people that we would like it to be, but yeah. we don't know if they'll want to do it or yeah. for some reason with our band, this like support acts take a long time. Yeah. I think because we want it to be bands that we like and or people are busy or it takes so long. Yeah. But we always have a really specific idea in our minds and then if that specific idea doesn't come to fruition oh! <laughs> Very far from yeah, here I, was, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed that a lot that was good nice. Thank you good nice, you guys. But yeah, it always takes us a while to get um, to come to like some sort of agreement for mm. or yeah. anything else because we get so like single track minded so. mm. but You got any ideas? See, it's hard. Yeah, you think yeah. it's yeah. tricky. Yeah. Yeah. You want to see support. Um, medals. Oh yeah, medals. Yeah. 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 Medals. Maybe. Maybe. It's yeah. not your um your kind of music. It's not really the same thing, no. but yeah. Well, they t they toured with good. us already last year. Yeah. We okay. did shows with them last year. Oh, cool. We did, yeah. It was uh, some Scottish shows. When was that? It was in like May or something last year. Uh, it was like yeah. summertime. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we wanted to know, every time we are going to Glasgow, we don't know what to do and where Where are you going to drink a beer, to chill, to buy music, um, buy records? Well, we're not in Glasgow that very often to go out and have a night. <laughs> Most of the time we are trying to find a bar in like Paris or yeah. um, LA or wherever we are. So. But like music wise, we're kind of, we're quite lucky in that there's a couple of like really good independent record shops. Because I know, you know, a lot of places all the independent records sort of shut down, but yeah. in Glasgow we've still got a couple. And um, there's a record shop called Monorail. Okay. Which is like, it's it's actually in the back of a pub, and the pub's actually really cool. There's other pubs called Mono, but they, um, the record shop, 
got moderate on the two loads of vinyl and stuff and that's a really okay. cool place. There's another really small record shop called um, Love Music. Oh yeah, yeah. we went Which is really cool. It used to be called Avalanche, but it changed the name okay. and I'm trying to go elsewhere. Yeah, probably the best uh, time. We've been to King Tut's. We've been to King yeah. Tut's. Yeah. Good um, place. Or Nice and Sleazy's. Did you go there? Um, no. See, that's where lots of Scottish bands, uh, before they were in bands or before their band became like famous or well known, you would play shows there or you would just go there to drink. It's like okay, Las Vegas and Franz Ferdinand <laughs> and stuff. They still drink in there now and oh. we go there sometimes and yeah. Really famous. Bell and Sebastian. No. <laughs> Bell and Sebastian are in there, like every Mogwai. Yeah, really. Like every day, yeah. Idlewild and stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, we would like to know um, what are your tricks to avoid being stressed uh, as a musician during uh, recording, during touring? Because I'm, I think you meet a lot of people. You are in front of thousands of people mm -hmm. at every gig. So how do you, how do you avoid this stress? Um, I don't avoid it. No, <laughs> no. I'm, really, I'm really nervous and stressed all the time. <laughs> um, You're definitely the worst out of all of this for stress, but. But that's probably why sometimes on stage I have the like biggest release. It's probably why I do in the band what I do yeah. and like shout at the crowd and go <laughs> like a little bit crazier is because the only thing that takes away the stress is like playing. Yeah. And when you are in it you Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. You forget it. Because I've had such a big I've built it up so much all day and sometimes for weeks before. Yeah. Yeah, like the hydro gig, yeah. I'm like yeah. building up now because we're talking about it and I'm like getting nervous already and stuff. So when it comes to the night, I'll go yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, you play the same day as Smashing Pumpkins and Marion Manson at Soundwave Festival. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to know what would be your, um, if you would like to create a festival, what would be the ideal lineup for you? I think Pearl Jam would definitely play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're a favourite amongst all four of us in the band, so Pearl Jam would be playing. Foo Fighters. Yeah. Uh, who else would we have? Gaslight Anthem would probably have Rage Against the Machine as well. Pretty rocking lineup. So Manchester, or, so Manchester Orchestra. Uh, <laughs> Manchester Orchestra recently. Over in the States and they're they were like they were already an amazing band and stuff mm -hmm. for some reason. They were like one of the best live bands I've seen in so long. Yeah, don't know. We, we <laughs> love live music, so we could just keep. We could yeah. say like a thousand bands yeah. <laughs> for different reasons. Um, you've been you've been guests for great bands this last year on Europe, uh, like Thirty Seconds to Mars, Blink One Eighty Two, uh -huh. um, and I discovered you at a Blink One Eighty Two gig oh, okay. uh, at That's London. Fun. If I remember. Ah, okay. The uh, two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, nice one. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> uh, you learned a lot during this too with big bands. What What do you learn with touring with them actually? Um, the main thing that's the biggest impact I think on us is that all the people involved in in these bands are just people. Do you know what I mean? Because like, mm -hmm. like we grew up going to big arena shows, and the people they they just they're not like people when yeah. you're in the crowd they're like cartoon characters that aren't or they're like gods mm. like this thing they that you never yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god they are real yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then backstage at these big arena shows you just see someone like deciding what food to have or like walking into a door frame and doing like human things Go to the fucking bathroom. Yeah, like that, going like, to the toilets. Oh my god. Jared Leto uses the bathroom. <laughs> That's so weird. Or just like we would talk to like Tom DeLong or um, try to think other bands we've done that. So like about you know oh, his guitar wasn't working. Like we have the same issues, so we, you realise yeah. that it's, you know I think that's that's the, the thing being in like a, a smaller and newer band. That gives you like um, a little bit of hope that you could maybe do that one day, or even if you don't get to do it, ultimately everyone's just the same. And yeah, yeah, we well, shared it. Yeah, it's all, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all relative, isn't it? Yeah, and everyone, then that's everyone sort of, has the same thing. It's just sometimes on a different scale. Mm. Yeah, and in a weird way, that sort of makes it you appreciate it a little bit more than like, for example, someone 
in a massive band saying you should do this or yeah. because not everything works the same way for every band and all that sort of yeah. stuff but that's the main thing that you learn is everyone's just like a person really normal yeah, yeah. <laughs> like everyone <laughs> yeah yeah it's weird it's weird because you forget yeah. that you like we learned that years ago and then you you experience it again when you meet like a really famous or yeah. big musician or something we're almost like wow oh, it's just really normal <laughs> like we're like of course everyone's like, so so after uh, your album Vivarium and Free, Grid Divide is working in the UK. Mm, but do you have already? Do you already have plans for the future for our next album, or is just <coughs> relaxing? Excuse and, me. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. We've, I mean, we. It's strange, like, because we finished Great Divide like six months before anyone heard it, mm -hmm. so. Okay. And it came out like six months ago, so we we finished record like mixing this album a year ago, um, and we wrote it for like two years before that, three years before that. So you know we we were ready to do new music yeah. like six months ago. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I've I've we've been writing songs. We're at like stage one of writing songs mm -hmm. where I've been like we're all kind of gearing up and buying new stuff to record with and like this we're in like phase one okay. of three where like it's all kind of taking shape and we're yeah so it's important to like um you don't want to like rush it and not uh evolve yeah. like change you want to feel yeah, yeah. It and yeah, yeah yeah you can't ignore all the stuff that happens yeah, yeah. so your new video clip uh, came out yesterday or Monday for yeah. the most curious one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so Oceans, mm -hmm. a beautiful video shot in Scotland uh, yeah. and in London for the, yeah, the right. kind of skyfall scene. Yeah, you know everything. <laughs> yeah, you know everything. it was only shot like so it came out yesterday, but it was shot like the week before. Yeah, it's crazy. We saw yeah. like uh, pictures on social networks, and mm -hmm. we were like, oh my god, they only filmed it like. Yeah, like five days. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's crazy. <laughs> and it's crazy. It's beautiful and really awesome. Yeah, well, that's that's, I'm glad you like it. It's the guy. There's a there's two directors who are <laughs> same age as us and from Scotland. They're from Edinburgh. Okay. And um, they've come. They've got this company called Something Something, and it's all down to they them. They got something. <laughs> it was the, it was you know a, a like a massive part. It was their idea. They filmed it, they edited it, and they mm -hmm. took so. It's very yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, uh, nice. Wasn't it too too hard to film underwater or? Yes. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. Um, I can swim, but I've ne I'm not like. I wouldn't say I'm like a great swimmer. Okay. Like seven out of ten for swimming. <laughs> And uh, but I'd never swam swam with all my clothes on. I like yeah. had so many layers on because the first part was filmed outside and mm. it was freezing cold. So I had all the stuff on and like boots like these. So then that was weird to get over being in with all my clothes on. And then the other thing was because the camera was like an underwater camera. Mm. Every time you have to bring it up and take it down, you have to like reset okay. the camera. So I had to learn to like use air tanks and stuff, like scuba dive. Oh. I had like 30, like 45 minutes to learn and then they like started filming. Okay. And I'd be like underwater. No like, stress at all. No, it was so stressful. But oh. we, we got, it was it was lucky that I kind of, took, I took to it quite yeah. easily. Can you give us a clue about the next, the next single uh, will come out or? Uh, I don't know. Um, well, I guess, again, this is like a thing that we do. Once you get to this point of an album, you have to start reacting to how people have received the other songs. Yeah. So, for example, if Oceans gets a really good reaction in other places and stuff, we might do another slower song, mm. depending on how Oceans works. Yeah. Okay. Or doesn't work. <laughs> Thank you. I won't disturb you any longer because you. I have some stuff to do, I yeah, think, so <laughs> before the gig. So <laughs> so You're not disturbing us. Nice, yeah. to, nice to chat with you. Thank you. Nice, cool. was really nice. Thanks. Cool. Thanks Thank so you. Much.